Some people are wondering, most likely anyway, why I uploaded the last video that I made. It's because I'm seeing a number of people in comments, I'm seeing Republicans who are in office saying this sort of thing, that we should basically obliterate the Middle East, as if that's going to help the problem. <sighs> I'm seeing people suggest that we should be rounding up all the Muslims and put them in concentration camps. Yeah, that's fucked up. Sorry, but that's fucked up. Uh, to me, you know, we should be paying more attention to immigration, paying more attention to, uh, you know, who we're letting in as refugees, who different countries are letting in as refugees. There should be, you know, quite frankly, anyone that tries to come into the country, if they don't have the, the proper legal whatever, uh, you know, there should be a bit of interrogation. So, you know, we, we're at least asking enough questions, so we're taking some precautions onto things. Find out what someone's background is, that sort of thing, you know. And immigration should be limited to a degree, you know. We, we just shouldn't ha open up the floodgates all the way and just let everybody in. No, that's, that's kind of dumb. But, uh, the other reason why I made this video is because there's this, there's a video that's floating around. It's a white uh, nationalist propaganda piece called Gates Open, the Forced Collective Suicide of Europe. Let's make no mistake about this. This is a white nationalist propaganda piece. It has tons of clips, video clips, that there's no bibliography for, so we don't actually know what's, what's, uh, what the context is of of these clips and there are times where some there are some subtitles there that I think are questionable it's like that just you know I mean I, I wish that, that I, I I could watch this with a, a linguist next to me or something so so I know that these the this translation they're putting at the bottom the subtitles are actually true you know um, but there's no way to know some of the context of some of these clips I said, there's no bibliography. And, uh, but the part that really, really got me was at the end of the video, they had this clip from Barbara Lerner Spectre, uh, the founder of Paedia in Sweden. And this is a clip that white nationalists like uh, Marmite Man 4 and just a whole shit ton of others, uh, what White Rabbit, uh, uh, a whole bunch of, of white nationalists, have taken this clip of her where uh, she is basically saying that Europe is going to go into a multicultural mode and if they don't survive this multicultural mode then they're not going to survive as a country and uh, that 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 uh, that Jewish people need to help the uh, these countries and, and, and push forth for these countries to let all these people in and In the context of the uh, the video, it's making it sound like she thinks that Muslims should take over all these countries. Well, when the white nationalists would use it, they would make it sound like um, it should be other races taking over a country. And you know, the, the, these white nationalists they would they would always pair it with Bob Whitaker's mantra. If you don't know what Bob Whitaker's mantra is, let me let me state what it is, okay? Go to Whitaker Online slash blog slash the white mantra. Ready? Okay, the mantra. Asia for the Asians, Africa for the Africans, white countries for everybody. Everybody says there is this race problem, and everybody says this race problem will be solved when the third world pours into every white country and only into white countries. The Netherlands and Belgium are just as crowded as Japan or Taiwan, but nobody says Japan or Taiwan solve, will solve this race problem by bringing in millions of third worlders and, quote, assimilating, unquote, with them. Uh, everybody says the final solution to this race problem is for every white country and only white countries to assimilate, i.e. intermarry with all those non-whites. 
What if I said there was this race problem and this race problem would be solved only if hundreds of millions of non-blacks were brought into every black country and only into black countries? How long would it take anyone to realize that I'm not talking about a race problem? I am talking about the final solution to the black problem. And how long would it take for any sane black man to notice this? And what kind of psycho black man wouldn't object to this? But if I tell that obvious truth about the ongoing problem of genocide against my race, the white race, liberals and respectable conservatives agree that I am a Nazi who wants to kill six million Jews. They say they are anti-racist. What they are is anti-white. Anti-racist is a code word for anti-white. Now, I'll give that phrase at the very end, anti-racist is a code word for anti-white, I'll give that a tiny bit of credit because of how so many of the progressives out there are trying to redefine the word racism to mean something that does translate to if you one is anti-racist that they're anti-white. There, there, there are some people that are shoving that forth, but <sighs> which is a little bit difficult to look at, but uh, that's what some of these progressives are shoving forth. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, this is constantly being quoted by white nationalists. And that video in question is a white nationalist propaganda piece. And people like Live Life will probably jump up and down and say, well, look at the truth of it, 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 look at the truth of it. You know, start a hangout or something, you know, one of those uh, Vaughn Live things, and uh, when anyone asks him any questions about it, he'll go, look at the truth of it, look at the truth of it, look at the truth of it, and he'll, someone will ask him sort of question, but, you know, these things are kind of, yeah, but look at the truth of it, look at the truth of it, that's the way he does things, so. Um, and, uh, <laughs> you know, there, there's no care in the world that it is a white nationalist propaganda piece. No care in the world. And I think it's really foolish to support something that is blatantly a white nationalist propaganda piece. You know, it, it, this concept of the enemy of my enemy is my friend is, is, is just not quite right. That's, that's a messed up view. You know, if we were to take on that view, then, um, well, maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe the, uh, the pride parades shouldn't have tried to kick out NAMBLA. You know, maybe they should have supported NAMBLA because NAMBLA supported uh, gay rights, right? No, no. Viewpoints that are fucked up, fucked off, you know, you shouldn't just invite them in to, to support your viewpoints. I mean, should uh, the Republicans uh, uh, say, oh, yes, come, come, come to us, uh, KKK members, come to us, white nationalists, you'll help us so much. No, they don't do that. They know better than that. And the people that are supporting this, this, uh, this video, the uh, uh, um, gates open the forced collective sui uh, suicide of, of Europe, they should know better too, but they're not. And people are shoving this forth as truth, and it's pissing me off. I don't support white nationalism, I don't support white separatism. You know, I'm for reasonable integration. But again, I'm, I'm also for reasonable uh, immigration laws, and it reasonable... You know, you don't just completely open the floodgate gates to the borders you know, and allow millions and millions of people to come in uh, from third world countries and then have all these stringent uh, 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 rules for the people who are, are already going to be able to integrate into society and add something to society, you know, have all these stringent rules for those people so it's really hard for them. But all oh, the third world countries, come on in! You know, I, I understand that there are some, uh, there are some issues going on here, and some things need to be discussed, but we don't do that by supporting white propaganda, white nationalist propaganda stuff. We just don't do that. And we don't support that by saying that we should just, we should just obliterate the Middle East. That's bullshit. That's crap. That's crap. Okay, the majority of, of terrorism may be c being carried out by Muslims, but that doesn't mean that, e I mean, the percentage of Muslims out there who are terrorists is small. Someone gave me a hard time because I, I said 5% in, in that one thing. It's like, look, 
I'm not saying that the number is that high. I'm saying even if the number was that high as 5%, um, I mean, I think it's less than 1%, but even if the number was like 5%, um, that still wouldn't be a reason for people to judge all Muslims. Now, it might be a, 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 a reasonable, uh, well, a somewhat high percentage of Muslims who think that uh, 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 drawing uh, pictures, uh, cartoons of Muhammad uh, should be, uh, should uh, be a crime, you know, it, that, that's, that, that's uh, something that someone should talk about. I think that's really fucking stupid. You know, people that don't believe in freedom of speech. Oh, freedom of speech as long as you don't make fun of my religion. No, fuck you. You know? There's many sides to this. And people just want to take this this one side to this and just... just. I mean, people think that, that like, we can solve this by using uh, elementary school level logic. Elementary school level answers. You know? This is a complex issue. There's a lot of stuff that goes into this. There's a lot of variables in this. There's no one-size-fits-all answer to this. So knock it off.